The 20 million Kenya Tourism Fund has been a subject of controversy in East Newbiton province. A tourism fund report of the 20 million Kenya showed irregularities with funding diverted to be used on areas not relating to tourism. That money was given to the provincial government uh, to do um, um, development within the tourism industry in the province. From the 20 million Kina, more than 3 million Kina went to upgrade a street in Kokopo. 1.5 million Kina went towards the terminal upgrade at the Tokoa airport. 3 million Kina went back to the PNG Tourism Promotion Authority. Another 3 million Kina went to a land mobilization project. The controversial Kokopo sewerage project got an additional 3 million Kina to an already inflated 80 million Kina project. The Kokopo to Tokoa corridor development plan got 4.9 million Kina, while 1 million Kina went to a town solar lighting project. Now, I don't know why the sewerage project, which cost about 88 million Kina in its own right, needed another 3 million of tourism money um, for, the t for the sewerage project. There was other questionable things like land mobilisation. Um, you know, there's, there's, um, there was a solar lighting uh, project which they said uh, cost a million Kina. But So I'm calling on the provincial government to properly acquit that 20 million that was, was spent. Let us know where that money went to. The report contradicted the actual developments happening on the ground and their evidence of flaws and projects with inflated costs, such as the tourism master plan cost 3 million kina when it should cost only 100,000 kina. More so, the East Newbiton Provincial Tourism Authority has confirmed receiving only 1 million kina from the 20 million kina funding. In short, those who would be benefiting from the large sum of money from the national government haven't felt the value of this money. They are demanding accountability. The provincial government has remained tight-lipped on this matter. The only prominent people who have spoken out was the tourism minister, Emily Tamur, and the East Newbiton Chamber of Commerce president, David Stain, who is providing a representation of the East Newbiton people and business houses. A formal complaint has been registered at the Office of the Ombudsman Commission in Kokopo and also brought to the attention of the National Fraud and Anti-Corruption Directorate in Port Moresby. A formal investigation on allegations of misappropriation is yet to commence. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.